can I ask a couple more questions? Yeah. Um, I'm an artist, I'm a painter. Um, do my paintings do what I think they do? <laughs> do you know, do you know, you're, I mean, you're infinite intelligence, you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, now, you, now we're on the spot. <laughs> we have no clue what I, you mean. I'll be, I, I'll be happy to describe, I mean. Well, you... let, us, let us tell you what we do know. Okay. When you are, first of all, in order for the art to flow through you, you've, in the way you mean for it to, mm -hmm. you have to be in some state of alignment. Okay. And when you are, what you express is, carries the vibration. And then yeah. those who are up to speed with that vibration are drawn to it. Yeah. So what specifically do you want from us? When I, when I sell my paintings, uh, sometimes I describe kind of like a, the theory behind it. You know the uh, what happens to people while they look, uh, they're, they're I essentially think they're meditational aids because of the way they're constructed. Well, the thing is, uh, he, he, here's something that will really help you. You're going to really like this. But I'm also kind of wondering whether all art is a meditation aid. <laughs> no, it is not. It all is not. No. Because whether it's art in music or art on the canvas or it doesn't matter what it is, it embodies the vibration of the artist. Mm. It's an extension of the way whoever created it felt while they were creating it. And so that's why different, in other words, you could be in a total state of depression right. and create a piece of art that a lot of the world would really like because a lot of the world is in a total state right. of depression. Right. In other words, it's the law of attraction is matching things up. So when your intent is to uplift, then those who are somewhere in the vicinity are those who will be drawn to it. You, if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would see our work as a bridge, and it really is. Because when you create something that is therefore visual, that others can behold, sometimes by their attention to it, if they, if they are held there long enough, they can begin to feel the vibration of what you put there. And okay. that really is the greatest value that artists have. Yeah. There is more that we want to give you about this. We want to start in another place. When you, you know, oh, our favorite people to visit with really about this work are those who are already describing themselves as creative. Everything is creative really. Yeah. But you know how people call music creative or art creative yeah. because they, those artists have already discovered what being in the flow is like. You can feel when you're aligned and in your process and you can feel when you're not aligned and in your process right. and you know not only the re the results of the way it turns out you know the results of the process along the way when you're tuned in tapped in turned on and that energy is blowing and flowing through you it feels so good yeah. so by you accomplishing alignment while you are doing your creative process then your end result is full of it and others may therefore benefit from the alignment that you experience mm -hmm. you see so when you think in terms of what it takes for you to create art in the way you mean to that's what it takes to create anything that's what it takes to create a gallery where it is shown that's what it takes to create an audience that then will see it yeah. in other words it's the same thing you you know how to get in alignment in order for the art to flow through the question is do you know how to get into alignment in order for the abundance to flow and the showings to flow and the world to discover <laughs> what you have to offer you see yeah and so knowing that it's the same process so how would you describe to us be brief if you can, but describe to us what it feels like when you're in that flow. And if you want, what it feels like not to be in the flow. In other words, just talk about that a little bit with us. Uh, when I'm in the flow, it feels like where I'm supposed to be. And? And? Uh, and, and the and experience e I mean, of it is? Easy. And? It almost feels like I'm cheating. <laughs> like I'm getting away with something, like it's so easy. You know, because people come up to you, and like you said, people tend to come up to artists and be baffled by them for one well, that, reason or another. We, and, we love and those words. Life is supposed to be easy for you. Yeah. You are all supposed to tap in to that broader perspective and let it blow through you. And, and don't you find it interesting that a few do it and you call them masters? Yeah. And, and we want you to realize that you all are that. You all have that potential. This energy is flowing to all of you. And so... So what do you think that you do in order to put yourself in that receiving mode? What's your process? 
or or has it just been so happening like that for so long that you just expect it now and so it's that in and of itself is not a process or do you do something I don't really do anything I mean it's just like you said it's I think it's so because when I've been doing it for so long so it's it, become easy do you go when your dog tired uh not usually no so you you're usually in a state of refreshment when you go yeah you could say that I mean I don't know if this guy'd call it refresh there's no there's no particular point you know it's just you get up and work so you get up and work and what's that feeling like when you when you are on your way to do that not so good <laughs> no it's it's a funny thing it's like one for me it's one of those things it's like a, the, the most difficult part of the production is picking the brush up all right so so once you pick the brush up what shifts for you this is the feel you your know, expectation be because you've had positive results before mm -hmm. so this is an example of the condition is sort of leading you to an emotion that's going about it the hard way yeah so when we say the way you get rid of doubt is before it starts so so prepaving is preparing the energy before you pick up the brush so you might so are you saying to us that it's sort of hard to get started and at first it doesn't flow so well and then and then once you get there and get focused do you think your focus turns to something of positive expectation do you stand there and think this is another painting that's gonna suck <laughs> sometimes <laughs> No, I mean, it, it, it's, uh, it's been developing. Well, what we're wanting, what, so what we're asking you, this is, this is what this is about. First, we're asking you if you think you're finding success in your process. And yeah. the answer is clearly yes. Yeah. So now we want to talk with you about how that process feels so that you can identify and isolate with more clarity when you're in that flow and when you're not. Yeah. So are you, do you think you're able to do that? determine when I'm in the flow and when I'm not in the flow. Yeah. And to and uh, to most do of the it, time, yeah, but to, that was also one of the questions do, I was going to ask. So, but the question that we want to ask you first is, does it take are sorry. are you asking the action to give you the emotion yeah. or have you created the atmosphere that inspires the action? This is huge. Yeah, no, this is everything that we're talking about here <laughs> because most humans are going through the motions hoping that the act, that the that the alignment will kick in somewhere along the way. And it usually will if you give it enough time, yeah. but it really is the hard way of going about it. Yeah. Why not tune in by going general with your emotions first mm -hmm. and get yourself in, create the vibrational atmosphere so that the inspiration then begins to flow. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> why do you, why, when you're really in the flow, what does it feel like during the process? You said you feel like you're cheating because it's so easy. Yeah. Describe that more. I'm not doing it. You, does that make sense? Yeah, you're translating it. Yeah. You're receiving it. Yeah, it's just going so, so, through me. So you are the receiver of it. You are the realizer of it. You are the realizer of it. Yeah. So now we want you to consider this because this is the way it's been. Step one, step two, step three. So step one is contrast caused you to put those beautiful creations in your vortex. They've been there for a long time and there are so many there. You it, really, it will take 20 or 30 lifetimes for you to expose all of them to the world. Your vortex is full of that kind of potential. Source has already realized the magnificence of what you've put there and holds the full knowing, the full image, the full being, the full consciousness of it. So when you show up at your creative workspace and you are unconditional in your alignment, in full expectation of the ease being there for you, then it just is. Mm -hmm. And what we want you to hear from us is that in the same way that you feel that kind of ease, that's the way it is supposed to be about everything in your life experience. Dollars are supposed to flow like that. Your ex as putting yourself into traffic is supposed to feel like that. Your co-creating with others is supposed to feel like that. 
In other words, so what do you think that you've done that has accomplished a vibrational expectation that works for you in your art that isn't working for you so much in other things? That's the question that you're asking here. How can you get that creative stuff juices to flow in other things? Well, figure out what you're doing with where it is working and do that in places where it isn't. Do you think you just stumbled into it? No. Do you think it happened from your attention to it? Yes. When you are, when you are in the process, does your mind wander all over the place? Do you think about bills that need to be paid and relationships that need to be cleaned up or are, is your attention on what you're doing? I'm focused. You're focused. And so, so would you say that your art is meditative in nature that it Very brings so. out the best <clears throat> of you? Very much that, so. That the, and so as it brings out the best of you, now we're getting around to your first question. Yeah. That's why, that's what others, that's what others feel when they see it. Gotcha. In the same way that you feel it as you create it or accomplish it, others, if they are somewhere in the vibrational vicinity, receive that same benefit too. Yeah. But there's something that we want to say to you. And we wanted to say it to the one before and the one before and the one before. In other words, this is something that's been in the process of evolving here. You're going to like this, or whether you do or not, we do. <laughs> And that is all of you have source <clears throat> flowing to you. In other words, all of the people who will be benefited by the upliftment that they will feel as they participate with your art, all of them, just like you have source energy flowing to them and through them. But for whatever reason, a lot of them aren't allowing it to flow. So the question isn't, is your art causing them to hook up because the energy is there for everyone. The question is, what are you, what is your participation with them accomplishing in terms of causing them to soften their resistance enough that they allow some of it in okay. that that's what's going on. Okay. Yeah. Nice to know, isn't it? Yeah. Makes you want to keep doing it. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. a born uplifter. Something more? <laughs>